Hi friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take your own digital planner or any digital planner on Planify Pro and then how you can transform it into a blackout planner like you see here. So basically the blackout planner would have a black background and then all the lines within it as well as the fonts would be white like you see here. So let's get started. I will be opening or using a pre-made planner. I'll be using this one right here, um, one that isn't too big. You can also use the same planner as I have here, or you can also open up your own digital planner you have created in the past. So here I'm opening up uh, one of our own planners. And then here, uh, let's just randomly check out one of the pages. I would recommend you to maybe um, start from a monthly page, for example. Then first things first, I will show you how to add the black background. You would go to pattern and then background. And then here, um, if you do not see any black colors to select, you can click here on this color dot. And then here you want to go to custom. And then you want to select a black color from here. So you can select more of a grayish tone or the black has black. I will be selecting the third one from the top. And then you can close the menu. And then here on the sides, you should see the selected black color. So mine is hashtag E2, E2, E2. And then you want to click on the color. And then you want to click here, up here, and set it to fully show the pattern like this. So from here, if you want, you can also make the internal widgets transparent. So the black background can show through the widgets. Um, what you want to do is you want to click on any widget. So here I have it selected on the to-do list. Then in the settings, you want to go to um, the menu called background color. You want to go here to apply or reset transparency to all widgets. You want to click here on the transparent button like this and this will make the majority of the widget transparent. Then there still might be a few widgets you still need to manually set it to transparent but this menu will help you to set the majority of the widgets to transparent. Then next, uh, we see here that I have quite some sticker texts. Now, you might not have any sticker texts on your end, but I do. So for me, what I will do next is I will go here to sticker and now I can select my sticker texts. And now I will just set them to white. So they will be visible like this. This one right here as well. Okay. Now we can go back to planner mode up here and then next let's check out the rest of the widgets. We see here that um, this widget here has no transparent background and this currently is an issue with our calendars. So for the calendars in your planner you will have to manually set them to a transparent background. So here select them, go to background color and click here on yes to show the transparent background. Uh, then you want to do the same for this widget right here. I have a perpetual calendar. I will have to do the same here as well, um, like this. Now this one's transparent as well. As for this box right here, um, I will just leave it as is. Okay, if you want, if you have any white boxes on your end, you can, you can leave them white or you can also change the colors as you wish. Then next, let's also check out um, the colors here. Um, the line colors aren't quite white. If you want to have them set to white, you can now also change the color for the line color. You can type in white. This will make the line colors white. Then you can also make the header color white. Or you can make them transparent. So if you type in here transparent, it will make your headers transparent in your widgets. Then here under outline, let's also make this one white like this. And then here as well. Now this is how it currently looks like. And you see that the text here is still black. Now to make the text white, go to text menu H2. You want to type in here white. Okay, so now everything is set to white. This widget here Okay, this one looks fine as well now. And then next, let's check out the tabs and the digital planner background. If you do have a digital planner background and you want to change the color, you can now go to layout, 
digital planner. And then here uh, you can also choose a new background color. So here I will select maybe a charcoal black like this. And then next, uh, I also would like to change the tab color. So if you would like to change the colors of your tabs, you can click here on the color menu and then select a black. So you see here, it's changing it to black. So I will fast forward this step right now. Okay, then next, let's maybe also change the font color of the tabs to white. So right here, tabs text color, let's type in white. This is how the planner looks like. And then now, once your background is black, your colors are set to white or transparent and everything looks fine. You can now go to this button right here, apply style to pages. You want to select basically everything. So select digital planner hyperlinks, select the background, select the color, the style, the pattern, the background, the font size and font family. Just select everything besides these two right here. Okay and then you can click on apply style to pages. So what it is doing now is it's running through all the pages and it's changing the digital planner background to the black color. It's changing the tabs color, the fonts of the tabs. It's applying a black pattern to the planner. And then it's also um, applying all the other settings we have set before, such as the text color, um, the line color and the widgets and so on. So let's quickly wait until it has run through the pages and I will be back in a bit. Okay, it now has run through all the pages. Um, most of the pages look fine, but there are still a few fixes we need to do. So let's say um, you see that your weekly pages don't look quite the way you would like it to look like. Um, such as here on the weekly page, there are still a few things I need to fix. But now I will show you how you can do that and then how you can apply this fix to all your other weekly pages in one run. So the first thing I see here is that I have a uh, date flag on top here and the date flag is white. Now I would like to make this date flag black as well. So I can click here and then go here to the inside color and then select the exact same as the background color. Then I also would like to have the font here in white. Then now let's go to style and then under text color, let's click on, let's type in white. The line color, let's have it white as well. And now we will need to repeat this step for every single widget here in the weekly. So I will just select this inside color and then paste it to all the other ones like this. And then let's also change the inside color, the text color and line color to white. Then here I need to fix the calendar. So let me quickly set it to a transparent background as before. Then for this one as well, let me quickly set it to transparent or remove the header like this. Okay, that fixed the issue. Okay, I'm not a fan of this white um, border right here. So I will be changing it into a to-do list like this. And then I will be removing uh, the header like this, maybe increase the amount of widgets. And then I will copy this and paste it right here and then do the same. Okay, so let me quickly also change the text up here to white. Okay, so here I have um, the weekly page corrected and I would suggest you to also correct your weekly page on your end. Just make it all the way you would like it to be. Make sure that the lines are white, that everything looks the way you would like it to be. And now I'll show you how you can apply this weekly page you have corrected to all the other weekly pages. So up here you want to click on apply this page to you want to click, you want to select all your weekly pages as I'm doing right now. I am now selecting all the weekly pages like this. 
So once all the weekly pages are selected, you then want to click here on skeleton and style. What it now will do, it will run through each page and then change it accordingly to the weekly pages you had corrected before. So you see it's now running through all the pages and adjusting every page like you want it to be. Okay, it now has finished running through the pages. Now let's also correct the monthly page. Here uh, we need to make this widget transparent and then let's also go here to apply style to pages. Now let's select all the monthly pages like this. Okay, I now have selected all the monthly pages. Again, click on skeleton and style. And you will now run through each page and then now apply the changes you have made before. Now for this specific case, I still would need to individually change the text color of the stickers, white. I hope you don't have to do it on your end, but on my end, I would need to do it. So if you do have a similar plan like I have with sticker text, you would now also need to individually change the colors of the stickers. Then next, uh, if you also have daily pages in your digital planner, you would do the exact same thing like you did with the weekly pages. So you would open up your daily page, you would correct it the way you like it and then apply to all the other daily pages. And it should not mess up with any date flags you have in your planner. Then let's maybe also check the index page. The index page looks fine for me. I just maybe have um, a few texts here I should change to white, but other than that, it looks fine for me. Then here, the last page would be the calendar page here, which you probably will have to manually uh, reselect the transparent background one by one for each widget. But once this is completed, uh, the planner should be finished. So let me quickly change the background color of the widgets. Then here I have white boxes here. Um, let me maybe quickly change it more to a grayish color like this. I think this would look nicer. So I will do this just one by one like this and I will quickly fast forward the video. Then here let's change the sticker color to white. And the digital planner should now be finished. So from here you can check your planner again if every page looks the way you would like it to be. And then you can go to save export, export all pages digital. And then now let's um, batch generate the PDF file. You do not have to sync the planner at this point. So you can just go straight to batch generate PDF and then export the planner. Click on download PDF and let's check out the planner. You see how it looks like. Everything looks fine. These are the weekly pages. And this is how you can transform your digital planners into black hole planners like you see here. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!